It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes, tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brew Review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Good evening, everyone. The Brew Review is done before a taped television audience. Ah, shut up, you fuckers. What's going on, guys and gals? And we are back for another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is something different, something we've never had forever. <laughs> Yeah, Howard Dean. <laughs> Howard Dean's in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. Anyhow, what we got for you today is Golden Monkey. So, okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. So, a good friend of mine, a good friend of my dad's, anyway, we were all out drinking in his house, and he offered me one of these. Yes. What? What, what is the Golden Monkey? The there, Golden Bob? Monkey is a Belgian-style triple with added spice, hmm. made by Victory. I don't think we've had Victory before. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, oh yeah. Victory Brewing Company, Dawningtown, Pennsylvania. I want to say maybe we did, but I forget which one. So, we'll have a look. they got a cool... That's their trademark... Oh, it was upside down. <laughs> that was their trademark cap right there. But I got to give shout-outs to, to my dad's friend. I was getting to that. Weber. Weber. Do, you, do you remember when we did the Dundee Summer Shandy? Yes. Yes, well... This came from the same guy, so and he it, says, here, try this. He said he did not like wet the Summer Shandy. Yeah, we got that because he didn't like it, but we got this because he liked it. Oh, okay. He likes this one, so shout out to you, Weber, if you're watching. V for victory! V for victory! V for victory! Yeah, fuck you. I love the Golden Monkey. It has an eye in the middle, and he has like eight hands. What am I doing? You are spanking the golden monkey, sir. <laughs> that is just... Now, terrible. if you open this up and dump it on your head, do you get a golden shower? We'll find out. <laughs> a magical, mystical monkey whose golden soul glows with the wisdom of the ages. The fuck? This radiant ale is rich in the spirit of tradition of Belgian-inspired brewing. Our golden monkey is both playfully delightful and profoundly satisfying. Erotic! Spice from the east rounds out this global journey to joy. Get on board. This monkey's bound for glory. I thought I was going to... I totally would have said this monkey's going to spank you, but I guess not. Whoa! Yeah, it will. It's 9%. I, yeah, I was about to ask. Did you see the alcohol content? Oh, I knew about it. 9.5. <laughs> so, it, it, it ranks maybe top 10. Maybe a top 5 in our content list. Wow. We re we should sit down and actually do a video about the, the top ten strongest. Yeah, the ones that we've done. Well, what, and it seems like most of them are from PA. Do you notice that? I have noticed that. Because what, what was the other one? The Maple Mitri Mistress? Maple Mistress. It, it was from PA. Where is Donningtown? I, I don't know. Um, it's not anywhere near us. I can... <gasps> I can look uh, if you want to try and uh, do your whole thing. What, what do we do with that again? So yeah, we're gonna do the cap test, the body head test, the drink test, the draft test, and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. Yeah. So it's barely turning, but I got a feeling I'm gonna. Uh, Downingtown is a borough in Chester County, Pennsylvania, 33 miles west of Philadelphia. So ah, so it's in eastern Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's out there. Out That's there actually not too far from Maple Mistress. Wasn't Maple Mistress like Kutztown or something like that? I believe so. It was kind of that area. So, a PA so. beer for a PA opener. Or an opener for a beer. Whatever. Pottsville, just right, just north. Fee for victory. I could have been a cheer. Smells like the Yingling Summer Weast. Really? Oh, wow. What do you think? It does smell like a Weast beer. But it doesn't smell overly strong. Belgian style triple with added spice. So yeah, you definitely smell the spice. Smells good. Yeah. But smells can be deceiving. How does it taste? 
Dog's about to get a golden shower right down his gullet. What are you drinking, dog? Tell us! Victory! Golden monkey! Let's try it! V for victory. Clear burst. And this is right after we just downed a total of four ah. Bud Light Ritas. And those are 8% content. And now we're drinking shit that's 9.5. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, don't drive drunk. I'm not. Public service announcement. What did you think? I love it. I love it. We're gonna find out if I love it. But I, yeah, I do. Now that I think about it, I do find it comparable to Yingling Summer Weast. Just a much stronger version of it. That's it. But what's really weird wow. is the bite does not rear its ugly head when you drink it. Mm -mm. It only rears its ugly head if you drink a lot of it. I'm actually very impressed, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Um, like you said, you don't taste the alcohol content. It tastes like a wheat beer. Like Yingling, Summer Wheat, or any kind of real wheat beer. Okay, okay, I, I'll admit it. I, was, I drank a couple of these when I hung out with Webb. Mm. With Weber. And yeah. I was like hammered up drunk and drank one. And it, you know, it was like it wasn't even there, you know. Very light cinnamon, I think. Yeah, I think so. We're going to pour it and see. So, ooh, it's yes, light. It's very light. It's a light one. But it amazes me how the bite does not show its presence. Mm -mm. This is crazy. Which will get you screwed up fast if you drink this cup. Uh, yeah, there is sediment, sediment in there. Yeah, let's take a closer look, bubbles, shall we? Along with some bubbles. It actually, you, know, you want to know something? It looks just a tad darker than, say, like your Coors Light and your PPR mm. and your. It looks almost like a budgety beer, but when you drink it, you know it's not. <laughs> this is quality right here, boys. Yeah. So we're gonna swirl it. Swirl. Oh, swirl. And I'm already gonna say it's very impressive. Yeah, I'm very impressed with it. Let's see how well it is. Have you ever had a draft? No. I only drank it out of the bottle. So far. And I was drunk when I drank it. Definitely glass it. <clears throat> it definitely will fill you up quick. Um, I've noticed that with wheat beers. They do have a tendency to be filling. So... You honestly, I don't think you could sit down and drink a six pack of it. I agree with that because as that gulp that I just did, I'm kind of full now. So I would drink borderline two, and then switch over to something lighter to kind of balance it out. But two of these back to back, you're gonna be good for the rest of the night, I'm sure. Well, I'll tell you this: when me, my dad, and Weber were hanging out that one night mm. about a month ago, you remember that? Picture of me with my hand in the bear's mouth. Mm -hmm. That was the night I drank these fucking things. Oh, okay. I was a little teen when I did that picture. But anywho, oh. I didn't drink them back to back. I, I had maybe a couple beers when I got there. Mm -hmm. And I drank one. And then when we, we went to, what, was it Three Pines and had the wings? Yeah. And when we got back, I had another one. So I kind of spread it out. So right. Yeah, this is one of those, you, you just can't sit there and drink a case like you do any other beer. No, no, it would be way too filling. Th this is going to, this would be a good beer to start off on. Mm. Maybe have it with dinner. Yeah. You know. That's, that's good. That's a good dinner beer. It's a good unwinding beer. Yes, indeed. If you need to get fucked up quick, by all means, that's your thing. So Weber, you've done it again. <sighs> good beer. I, I I, I'm, I'm going to fucking just go ahead and say it's a five. Wow. I like it. Not bad. Just for the simple fact that it's strong, mm -hmm. but it doesn't show it. No, not at all. And it's not really that filling. Yeah, uh, I love the packaging. That's for damn sure. Yeah, that too. So. And all the jokes I can make about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, ooh. You know what? Yeah. You have to burp too. I was going to go four and a half, but fuck it. I would just go five. I, I really enjoyed this beer. It's not, str it's strong, but it doesn't taste strong, so. You Didn't can I, you can actually drink it. I think I rated Webb's last beer like a six or something. Yeah, the summer shandy, you whore. 
He was a summer shanty whore. He's like, six out of five. And I said, you can't do that. He says, yes, I can. And I did. And he did. So, yeah, definitely five. I, I really like this. So. Oh, you know what else that Weber had in his fridge on top of this stuff? He had some cold snaps. Ooh. I was drinking some of them, too. I like cold snaps. But I, and another thing I observed is, like, you can drink a lot of different beers, and this will mix well. You know what? I just realized something. We rated this a five. Guess what the Roman numeral for five is? V for victory! V, v for victory! V for victory! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of the Brewview featuring the Golden the, Monkey. The Golden Monkey. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> our, our cheerleading career has officially ended after this night. Our cheerleading career maybe lasted about five seconds. Five seconds, but by God, as long as we made at least one of you laugh, that's all I care about. All right, so there you go. Tune in next week, and we'll see you later. Woo!